Hey guys, it's Danny, and I am so excited to be back here with you after a little end of the summer hiatus. And in an effort to keep things clean and delicious this time of the year when everybody's schedule is getting a little bit busier, I have partnered up with the sunny and bright Megan Roosevelt of HealthyGroceryGirl.com, and we are both gonna be sharing with you a vegetarian crock pot recipe. Now, my recipe is one of my personal favorites. It is a butternut squash vegetarian chili, and I promise you it is satisfying enough for both vegans and meat eaters alike. And Megan, who happens to be a registered dietitian, is gonna be making a pumpkin chickpea curry over rice that looks absolutely delicious. Does she not have the most fabulous hair? I mean, I'm just saying. But all hair aside, if you guys haven't checked her recipes out yet, make sure you head on over to her channel because she really has loads of healthy tips, tricks, recipes, and ideas for you guys. So once you're done watching my recipe here, head on over to Healthy Grocery Girl, give her a like, and subscribe. Now, as for this chili, guys, it couldn't be any easier because all we're gonna do is prep all of the ingredients and then get it into our crock pot, set it, and forget about it. And you could do all the prep either the night before or the morning up. Now, this recipe makes a hearty amount of chili, so I've got a nice big six-quart crock pot here. And into the crock pot, I'm gonna be adding one diced onion, one diced bell pepper, any color will do, three cloves of chopped up garlic, a 15 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes. They have a nice smoky flavor to them. A 15 ounce can of garbanzo beans that I have rinsed and drained. And then I've got four cups of chopped up butternut squash. Now for the squash, here's what you're gonna do. You wanna rinse the outside of the squash, trim off the bottom and the top, and then we're just gonna use a potato peeler to peel off the skin. Then I lay it down on its side and I cut the bulb from the neck. So right here, you just slice it off and the bulb is where all the seeds are. So slice the bulb in half and then you're gonna get a spoon and scoop out all of the seeds and any of this stringy membrane that's attached to them. Do that for both sides, then lay the squash down, cut it into half moons and chop it into bite-sized pieces. As for the neck, I'm gonna stand it up, get your knife right over the top, push it straight down and you're gonna cut them into boards. You're gonna get about four or five boards, about an inch wide. Then I'm gonna cut those into strips, come back across the other way until I have little cubes of butternut squash. You're gonna need four cups of the cubed butternut squash for this recipe. Then I've got two cups of a low sodium veggie broth going into the pot. And now I'm gonna add our flavor, starting with three chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. If you've never tried these before, they have a really spicy and smoky flavor to them. If you don't like the spice, you can cut into your pepper, just like this, and then look for these seeds and pull them out. A lot of the heat is in the seeds, so if you don't like the heat, take the seeds out. If you like the spice, leave the seeds in, and then just chop them up as is. You can use about two or three adobe peppers. Then I've got two tablespoons of cumin, one tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, and two teaspoons of curry powder. Personally, I just love the combination of curry powder with the butternut squash. They are like a little match made in heaven, so I had to make sure to get a little bit into this recipe. And then finally, you're gonna give that a little bit of salt and pepper, which I personally forgot to do, so I'm gonna salt and pepper mine after it's done cooking, but ideally you wanna get it in the pot now. Now on top of that, we've got all our flavors in there. I'm sprinkling in one cup of frozen corn, fresh would do the job as well, and then a couple of cups of kale ribbons. And all that means is that I stemmed my kale, rolled it up nice and tight, and then sliced it as thinly as I could until I had these nice long thin ribbons. And that gets layered right on the top of the crock pot. Then we pop on our lid and I'm gonna turn this to low. Now this will cook on low for six to eight hours or you could cook it on high for three to four hours depending on what your day is, where you're gonna be, and how fast you want your food. I have really come to love these crock pot meals because as my kids are getting older, they're five and seven, everybody's schedules are getting busier, it feels like we're home together less often. So at least this meal promises me that when we all get home in the evening, we don't have to do a lot of cooking, we can just sit down to Together, have a warm, delicious, nourishing bowl of yumminess and all reconnect. 
and that to me is invaluable. Once my chili is done, I like to give it a stir and get all of those ingredients mixed together. You're gonna see that all the flavors have married and that squash will be fork tender. So I scoop it up into a bowl and then top it with your favorite chili toppings. I am topping mine with some fresh cut onion and a little bit of avocado. Now if you have any leftover chili, and you probably will because this recipe makes a lot, you can store it right in an airtight container and pop it in your fridge and it will last you up to a week. Mm. I love the combination of the squash with a little bite of the chickpea and the flavor is really smoky with just a little bit of spice. You guys have got to give this one a try. It is so warm, hearty, and satisfying. When you try it, take a picture, snap me on Instagram or on Facebook so I can see what you're whipping up in your very own clean and delicious kitchens. And don't forget to head on over to Healthy Grocery Girl to see what Megan has whipped up for you guys as well because I know it's gonna be delicious. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees. I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. It's a good taste, but to me, because I'm just a little kid, I'm only seven, it's kind of spicy.